Hey guys, what's up? I just, uh, in this video today, I just want to show you something that I didn't even realize was a thing in Unity until the other day, which is kind of crazy. Um, linear versus gamma color space, right? So, I'm pretty sure I'm in gamma right now. And I don't think this looks very good, to be honest. Like, I don't like how bright it gets down here and how it's, like, kind of normal here. So, I just want to I wanna get some frame rate differences and everything. So, we'll just look at this. So, it's raining. And we're getting around 185 frames per second. We'll just say 180. Now, let's say it wasn't raining. I forget where I put that at. Was it on here? No, the weather should be on the game manager. So we'll make it not raining. So about 1200. And then we'll make it snow. So 1200. What was it like? 80? 1280. Okay, 180, 1,200, 80, and 90. So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll stick that in here. 1,200, 180, 90. And this is Gamma, I believe. And how you change it, you go to File, Build Settings, Player Settings, and it's under Other Settings right here, Color Space. We'll change it to linear and just watch what happens. Linear. Look at that. I think that's automatically like way better. I don't know. It might not in the end. I think the colors look better. It's not so... It doesn't look so fake. Maybe I just don't know how to use the other version of it very well, but... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll mess around in linear, and if we press play, you'll see it's raining right away. I don't think there's going to be any frame rate difference, apparently. So, no rain. Uh, let's go about where we were before. So, I think we were uh, only seeing a couple objects. I hope that's not the case. So, yeah, I've seen it go between 1,000 and 1,300. So we'll say, I mean, I guess it's 1,200 too. So linear, 1,200. That might be a little biased, I don't know. So we'll make it rain. It's right around 180 as well. So I'm thinking there's not going to be any difference. Now let's make it snow. Ninety-two, ninety-three. <laughs> so it likes the snow better. So I don't know, linear is about the same. I mean, it's not different enough, and that was only one sample, so uh, I can't really say that that's actual fact, but linear might be a little bit better. I still think the colors look better like this in, uh, in linear, so you guys can think whatever you want, do what you want with your game, but I think I'm going to have to actually do this in my actual product project too. I'm sure there's um, there's this lighting tab here. And you can do a lot of stuff with this, like this for example. I don't know what that actually does because if you notice before the skybox worked just fine with it. We go in here. We'll let the sun go down. This is their default skybox so this should do 
everything that a skybox can. Didn't do anything different. <laughs> everything up here still lit up though. It's kind of annoying. I don't know why. Kind of like two bounces. Sounds good to me. Let's see what that does to frame rate. Don't pause it. Not really much at all. Anyway, that wasn't really a tutorial or anything. I was just making that, um, making you aware of that if you happen to be watching this video. I think that's pretty useful. I mean, that made a huge difference. And I'm going to have to learn all these settings because I'm not going to lie. I don't really know anything about lighting in Unity. I'm trying to learn about more materials because materials make the biggest difference, uh, in my opinion, of how an object looks. So if you added, like, a normal map, for example, and gave, like, this, uh, this cube some depth and, uh, you know, yeah, it just, it looked way better, it looked way more realistic. I'll have to make an example of that one time when I get a chance. But anyway, that's all I got for this video. See you guys in the next one.